I didn't want to have a desk job. I wanted a career or a vocation that gave me a specific job after I finished university. I wanted potentially something that helped people as well. I've been a dentist for four or five years now. I think initially it was stressful. As much as you've got other people around you, it, it is kind of you alone in that room with that patient. Taking out your first tooth is quite scary, I'll be honest. You're kind of holding it and just hoping it's going to wiggle. Hi Tess. Do you want to come through and have a little look? Yeah, great. She's everyone's like emergency panic text when something goes wrong with their teeth. So if somebody takes a knock in a game to their teeth, for example, my tooth fell out the other day, so she got very panicked. Oh my God, what do I do? My tooth has fallen out <laughs> with a, a spectacular picture of my filling. Yeah, most so. of my phone is just other people's teeth. I get so many texts, it's like, oh, I think I've broken this part of my tooth or this hurts or like, you know, my wisdom teeth are playing up. So like, I think just having someone there who, on the end of the phone is, is quite nice for the girls. Are they ever really bad? Is it ever like something ridiculous? Like my front tooth chipped off? Most of the time it's wisdom teeth. Like, yeah. Really Clove nice. oil. Clove oil. I heard you. <laughs> I heard you giving that advice in the third chat yeah, the other day. Was, I was like, oh, didn't know that one. She's pretty hot on gum shields to be fair. She is always like, everyone get your gum shield in now. <laughs> You're not dentally that. covered. If you don't have your gum shield in, put it in now. I know it's non-contact training, but <laughs> you know how these things get. Keeps us all in check. The gum shield thing, I've played with players over the years who don't wear gum shield and I literally can't handle it because there's not enough money in the world for me to lose a front tooth. It's the first thing people notice is your smile so you have to protect it. Do you use anything like floss or mouthwash at all? Yeah. Are look okay? No idea what you just said. <laughs> so do they look okay? <laughs> they look great, your teeth look great. Yeah, very pleased. Most of my days during the week start kind of six-ish, so I'll go to the gym at, in the morning before work, and then I'll work every day, nine till about six. Go straight to training, so basically I leave the house at six o'clock and I come back at about half ten. And then Saturdays that I'm not playing rugby, I'm working. Combining it with rugby, like I've been doing it since I started uni, so I kind of got used to it. You just kind of keep going, you know, you'll be there at the weekend and it's fine, and then you get to play, and then you get Sunday off and you can relax on a Sunday and then start again on Monday. I could have a bad day at work or I could have a bad day at rugby. The other one kind of counteracts it normally. Like, touch words, I've never had a bad day at work and at rugby and gone home like, do you know what? I'm out. I quit. And eventually, there is the score for the visitors. I think it was always going to be Liz Craig. She's had some really good carries um, and she's not easy to take down. One of the reasons when I put my name forward, it was I want to learn game management. I want to talk to the ref. There's a lot of work that goes into it. It was more than I thought it was going to be, I, I won't lie. You know, I thought it was kind of, you chat on a Tuesday and a Thursday and you tell the girls what the training's going to be like and then on a game day you just say something emotional. Well, she's definitely brought us a lot of, uh, a lot of heart, passion and integrity to what is a very young side. So some of her pre mic speeches have been fantastic. I hear she does actually do a little bit of note taking before. I joke about it with the girls, but I'll like jot down my ideas of what I'm going to say in my little team talk. <laughs> and I'm like, right, okay, on Saturday, this is how I'm going to say it. These are things, these are points I want to make. It never goes to plan. I'm not very good at speaking in public or speaking to a big group. So that was probably the biggest challenge for me. I didn't think I could stand up alongside players and be really emotive and be loud. And because I'm quite a quiet person as well. So yelling and like trying to get them all riled up. I didn't think I was able to do that. That development has been huge. She always leads from the front. I think she's uh, got some ridiculous post-contact meters in her carries. So that always inspires the team, doesn't it? When you see your captain kind of trundling forward with having three or four players hanging off her. That's, you know, to me, that's a pretty inspiring look. Brilliant barnstorming carry from the captain, Craig. It means the world to me. I think I'm very proud of this club. I've been there for nine odd years now, so to have gone along on that journey with all these great players, to now be kind of, I suppose, at the forefront of that and, and leading that, it is really cool and it, it's really touching um, that the girls are happy to have me as their captain as well.